why did God give us the Sabbath? Let's read this. Now it happened that he went through the grain fields on the Sabbath, and as they went, his disciples began to pluck the heads of grain. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why do they do that which is not lawful on the Sabbath? But he said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and hungry and, and those with him? How he went into the house of God in the days of Abiathar the high priest and ate the showbread which is not lawful to eat except for the priest and also gave some to those who were with him? And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man is Lord, also Lord of the Sabbath. So Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. But what's going on in our passage here? Well, uh, you have the disciples going through a field of grain, and, and the Pharisees are, are they're, they're taking the grains, they're rubbing them in their hands, and the Pharisees are just going berserk. Oh, we found something to complain about. Now what's interesting on this is when you go actually to look at what the disciples were doing, and you go back to Deuteronomy 23, verse 15, you see that what they're doing is just fine. Listen to what uh, Moses says here. When you come into your neighbor's standing grain, you may pluck the heads with your hand, but you shall not use a sickle on your neighbor's standing grain. So that's exactly what the disciples were doing. They were plucking the grains with their hand and then rubbing them and just getting a little bit to, to put in their mouth, but none of them had a sickle and they weren't harvesting it and dropping it into, into big harvest bags. So uh, this isn't a problem. But it's, what's interesting too is that Jesus takes an example here of kind of an edge case where David actually did some things, he, he took some food that, that really was given to him, it wasn't really right for him to have it. But Jesus is saying, you know, I am the Lord of the Sabbath, I can address the edge cases, you don't need to worry about that. So what we have here is the Sabbath is, is a good thing, it's not a bad thing, it's not to be made into a hedge of rules and, and troubles. The Sabbath is God's plan to help us have communion with him. The reason God gave us the Sabbath is to keep fresh in our hearts our communion with him and with each other. Because, of course, we are not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together, says the book of Hebrews chapter 10. And so on the Sabbath, we meet together, Christians meet together to have church together. So uh, in this case, they were going through the grain field on the Sabbath. And Jesus says, look, don't make an issue out of this. This isn't an issue. I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. So the Sabbath is Jesus' day above all the other days. This is the day for communion with God, communion with Him. And so I would say that Jesus cannot be separated from the day that He's the Lord of. So when we come to the Sabbath, what we have in the time of Jesus is a whole bunch of human-made rules have been brought in and smashed down on top of the Sabbath and, and sort of compressing it and damaging it. And Jesus comes and He, he peels away all these layers of nonsense that have come in and be, been added to the Sabbath. But he doesn't ever take away the Sabbath. The Sabbath is his day. It's a very special day. So watch that when you are reading in the New Testament. The Sabbath is never done away with in any, any time. It's part of the Ten Commandments, of all things. But Jesus does come through and peel away a lot of nonsense and strange rules that have been built up around it. The devil's always trying to do that, isn't he? Take something good and turn it inside out and make a problem out of it. But the Sabbath has been one of the biggest blessings in my life that I've ever experienced in terms of drawing close to Jesus. It's interesting how quickly a Pharisee can take something good and make it something bad, or at least uh, portray it as something bad. Let's, let's go ahead and pray as we finish our time this morning. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this interesting... Uh, scenario about the Sabbath, where the Sabbath comes up. This is a gift, a special day to us. It is, it is the day that Jesus is Lord of, so it, it is unique among all the days, and it hasn't, that hasn't been changed in all the time between then and today. Thank you for the gift of the Sabbath. Please bless us on the Sabbath. Help us to meet together, and we thank you that this is a special day, a gift between you and your people. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a great day. And so, uh, what about the Sabbath? If you have any thoughts about the Sabbath in the New Testament, I'd be interested in seeing that back down here in the comments.